Today's lesson is on building transfer functions using the tf command in MATLAB. Let's start by typing help tf. So tf is creation of a transfer functions or conversion to transfer functions. It outputs the transfer function equals tf is the command. We need to give it a numerator polynomial and a denominator polynomial. And that's just a vector of the coefficients of each. I have three examples here. We'll go through all one by one. We'll start with example one, which is a normal transfer function where the polynomial has all the coefficients. So in this case, example one here, I'll build the numerator polynomial. I'm just going to build a vector where I pull off the two, the three, the four, and the six. So num equals two, three, four, six. Then I got to grab the denominator, 1, 8, 1, 5, 10. Den equals 1, 8, 1, 5, 10. And then I just build the function using tf. So f equals the tf command num, comma, den. And there it is. It should exactly match what the function is over here. It's a good way to check it, right? 2s cubed plus 3s squared plus 4s plus 6. That checks. s to the fourth plus 3s cubed plus s squared plus 5s plus 10. And that checks. Let's go after the second example where we're going to be missing some of the powers of s. In this case, we have 2s cubed but no s squared termed. And on the denominator, we have fourth, third, squared, and s, but no s to the zero term. Like here, we had a constant 10. We're missing an s to the zero term. How do you do that in MATLAB? You have to account for all powers of s. So in this case, we would go num equals 2. We don't have anything for s squared, so we have to actually have to put the zero. And then we have the 4 times s and the 6. And the denominator is 1, 8, 1, 5. And again, we don't have anything times s to the 0, so we have to put that 0. Now we can build our function g using the tf command. Num, comma, den. And there it is. Again, we can check it. 2s cubed plus 4s plus 6. That checks. s to the 4th plus 8s cubed plus s squared plus 5s. And that checks. So let's do example 3 now where maybe we have a scalar out here multiplying the numerator. And, and then maybe they, instead of showing, like we could have factored out this s here in example 2, but they didn't. This time they went ahead and factored out the free s's, and, and there was two of them. How would you account for that? So for scalar multiplication, we can just simply multiply the entire numerator array or vector by the scalar. So in this case, let's go num equals 3 times, and then just put the coefficients in as we see them. 2, 3, 4, and 6. And then the denominator, how do we can account for the two free s's? You just have to put zeros for as many free s's as you have. So here we have 1, 8, 1, 5, and that's the coefficients, and there's two free s's, so 0, 0. If I had one free s, I'd only use one zero. If I had three free s's, I'd use three here at the end. Build our transfer function h equals t, tf num comma den and it checks all right obviously six times or three times two is six three times three is nine three times four is twelve three times six is eighteen that all checks and if we factored out two free s's we'd be left with s cubed plus eight s squared plus s plus five so that works as well this concludes the tf demonstration